His name was Eric Brun. After a critically acclaimed American debut in 1955, Brun became an international ambassador for the Bournonville tradition and Danish ballet across North America and Europe. Eric was the first great international male dancer after probably Nijinsky. It's as if he made male dancing more intelligent. He was more articulate, he was more poetic. The line of the body, the precision, the elegance. He took male dancing a huge step forward. He had great physical beauty, that kind of blonde, beautiful Nordic beauty that reads so wonderfully on stage. And audiences loved it.